All right, so a quick update on what I've done here. Um, what I've got here is some half inch EMT uh, electrical conduit. Decided to use that as a shaft. It's a lot lighter than what I had before. Um, I've actually drilled a hole through the base of my, uh, a larger hole anyway, through the base of the windmill. What we're looking at right now is the top of the windmill. Um, I didn't drill a hole there, so in order to get this conduit in place and make it stay, I actually put the uh, the EMT down, and it's about five feet long. Got it going down to the uh, down resting on the top, and like I said, this thing's flipped over at the moment, and uh, put it in place as centered as centered as I could get it. Then uh, then I just took some uh, what do they call it steel stick JB weld, mixed it up, put it down in place around it here, and. Uh, I figure it's gonna kind of as long as it sticks to the metal, then it should stay in place where it's at, um, and hopefully will give us the uh, sturdiness I guess we need so that that whenever the windmill turns, it doesn't turn the that it does turn the shaft. It doesn't just spin on it. Um, anyway, so I stuffed it around where I've got these uh, these wooden slats here. And just just something to uh, to keep it to where it's hooked up at the top. So now we'll pan to where the bottom is. And like I said, this thing is flipped over. So we've got our bearing right here, and uh, I've what I did is I took some some little shims, tiny little shims, and since the hole I had was a little bit bigger than than the conduit, I shimmed it around here to where I measured it and figured it was the the most centered. Then I put some JB Weld down around the shims, tiny little shims, and I pulled the shims out and put some more JB Weld down in there. So hopefully it's as centered as I can get it. But um, I can actually lift this whole thing by by the shaft. So that leads me to believe that it's it's on there good enough. Um, it's not permanent, so if I ever needed to, I could try my best anyway to uh, to twist that out of there and do something else. But um, now I need to work on getting it actually attached or mounted to something. So let me show you what I've got. Alright, so like I said, I went down and uh, spent a little bit of money. Um, got the JB Weld right here. Used that. Actually, I got a big thing of it. Figured I'd use it on a future project or something. But I already had this one. And I went ahead and used it instead just to kind of use it up. And that's the first time I've ever used it. So it was kind of new to me. I wanted to check it out and see how it went. Um, but went to Tractor Supply, got myself a bearing, and I really wanted the, the one that had the cast iron to it, but I could not for the life of me find a bearing that they had there that fit it. So instead I got a, uh, I got a cheaper one, which it's a cheap windmill, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and I think this is a 5 8 diameter or 5 8 bore on this. Actually here it says 3 quarter but it doesn't really matter. Um, what I'm going to do is, is use this to uh, to go at the base you know underneath it to mount to something that way this shaft can slide down through here and uh, hopefully keep it all upright in the case of heavier winds. Who knows. Um, but I'm going to take some 2x4s and I'm going to use those to uh, to mount this to tell you what, the good thing about keeping all your scrap this right here is off of a uh, compressor keeping it all to eventually scrap or use it however I please but the good thing about keeping this stuff at least around for a little while is well, now you got something you can make little brackets out of. Um, this right here looks like it probably worked just fine. Who knows, these may have come off of that compressor too. Tell you what, I think I'll use this. I'm going to bend these down so I can screw through there and then I'll bend this part in a 90 and I'll probably just hammer this part flat um, and then just use this to screw to here or vice versa. It should work.
All right, so first thing, let's hammer this thing down a little flat. Get this side too. Well, that did not work very well. I wonder if this is, doesn't feel like aluminum, and it's definitely not, but very brittle. So I'm pretty sure, granted they got formed into a 90 already, so maybe that's the reason why it broke. That one held for my purposes. It should be fine. But I need a 90 here. I hammer this flat. Good enough. And now we need a 90. So I'm going to put it in the vise somewhere about halfway. Good enough. Let's see if it's straight. Do some damage. All right, so I changed it up a little bit. I uh, took off the, the wider board in the center here, and that's just because I didn't need it. I turned out it, I'm actually going to mount it versus this way. I'm going to mount it this way, and so it's wide enough that this will work. So um, now I got to drill out my holes right here. I was going to use some lag bolts, but I've got these fairly thick screws here, so I'm going to use those instead. And I think this drill bit will work. So I've put it in place, I've marked my holes. This will leave me plenty of room for adjustment too, if I need to, because this hole here is quite a bit bigger. And since nothing on this is perfect, we'll, uh, we'll probably need that adjustment room. So go ahead and screw this one down. I could use the drill, but I left it up there where I was checking all this out. Since this bearing doesn't exactly fit in here perfect either, then we got a little bit of room for adjustment with just the bearing itself, as you can see. Uh, let me go mount this up there and see what she does. As you can see, here's my bearing. Uh, the shaft is actually protruding all the way through far enough that we could put a pulley or gear or something like that on it. Um, you can see right here the shaft goes all the way through the base of the windmill and continues down through the bearing, which is resting on the railing, and uh, continues on down to the rest. So I had to put a fan on this because we had no wind today, but it was about five feet away and it was on low. So it looks like it's doing pretty well just from there. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to see if I can't do some fun things with this. And uh, well, just check it out. <laughs>